I'll just turn me back or I'll go and kill some woman husband. Don't worry. We get a lawyer for him already. He good? Is a she. A next woman to tie up raw life? You couldn't get a man? The woman good. Everybody says so. Woman place is to see about running house and mining baby. Since I born, his man does be lawyer. Things change up tiny. Woman does be doctor and engineer. So how we all get tied up in this business? Man will always get tied up in woman business. It's so God make you world. What kind of woman she is? A nice woman. I could tackle she myself. You still fooling yourself, Joshua? What you could do with woman now? If you see the size of woman I handled the other day. Your grandchild in jail facing the hangman and hear the worthlessness you're talking. Is you that ask if I... And you have to carry on, sir? As if you're proud of your godly, nasty life? When a man could perform properly, he have to be proud. We go handle it tiny. If you think I go sit down and let it hang me, son, you don't know who Tiny Walker is. Ma. How you do, Ron? I'm all right. How they treating you? Good. Don't worry about me, Ma. Why you do it, Paul? What devil get in you to make you kill a man? He was trying to kill us. Why you didn't get that nice, quiet to be a girl and set it up? You have to go and look for beauty queen from Trinidad, whose husband is a soldier. I didn't plan it that way, Ma. How was the holiday? You have to pray, Ron. You have to pray plenty. Don't worry, Ma. Everything is going to be all right. I'll pray, Ma. I want to know everything that happened. It was self-defense. Who stabbed him? I did. She said it was she who stabbed him. She's lying. If I'm going to defend you all, I want the truth. I stabbed him. Do you know the prosecutor is going for the death penalty for both of you? Just proceed, Doctor. Death was caused by shock and hemorrhage after he was struck by a sharp cutting instrument that pierced his heart from the back. This taxi driver told me he had seen Roll Walker and the lady heading in the direction of Back Bay. I decided to take a look in the area. And you found the body there, Inspector Anderson? Yes. Major Bruce, you stated that Captain Bolden was a fine officer. He certainly was. You stated he was willing to risk his life on several occasions. I did. He was, therefore, more reckless than other officers? Not reckless, courageous. Would you consider Captain Bolden's eagerness to risk his life normal? That kind of courage was not normal. His behavior was therefore abnormal? Abnormal in the sense You of... have already answered the question, Major Bruce. And I tell you the girl good? She will get them all. Courthouse is one thing me can never understand. I watching the face of every one of them people at the jury, and I can't read a thing they're thinking. I just live by the beach and I just see everything going on there. One time I saw old man Thomas and... Mrs. Legal, just answer the questions put to you. Do not volunteer any information. Yes, my honor. Not my honor. Your honor. 
That is what I say, my honor. You are not to call me my honor. You are to call me your honor. Whose honor is, is really is, sir? Yours or mine? You are to call me your honor. I thought you just said... The words you are to use are your honor. But how could you be your honor, my honor? <laughs> I have a good mind to find you for contempt. What for, my honor? Proceed, Mr. Peterson. Mrs. Ligo, did you ever see the defendant before? If I didn't see him, I wouldn't be here. Just answer it. Proceed, Mr. Peterson. Where did you see him? On the beach, hugging up and kissing some woman like they were honeymooners. I could have never believed she was another man's wife. Mrs. Ligo. I have here a statement signed by Roll Walker admitting he stabbed Roger Bolden and buried him. And that is how it happened. Thank you. Mr. Walker, on the night that Mrs. Bolden came to your room with the news that her husband had attacked her with a knife, did you see any cuts on her? She said... Were there any stab wounds? No. That was the night you decided she would not go back home to her husband. He was going to kill her. Why didn't you go to the police? I've had some bad experiences with the police. Oh? I was arrested once for possession of marijuana. I see. However, it must have occurred to you that if Mrs. Bolden's husband was dead, both of you could have lived together without fear of him ever bothering you. I never thought of it. Never? Never. But if he were dead, it would have been a lot easier for you to carry on your affair with his wife. We never thought of it. We? Yolanda and I. How do you know she never thought of it? Did you ask her? No. She volunteered those sentiments to you? No. You read her mind then? Mr. Walker, are you an expert in unarmed combat? No. So, how do you explain winning a fight with a highly trained fighter? I didn't win the fight. I just managed to grab the knife that had been stuck in the ground and defended myself. And why didn't you report this self-defense to the police? I told you. But if you were innocent, you had nothing to fear. I am innocent. I am suggesting to you, Mr. Walker, that you knew Captain Boland was looking for you and Mrs. Boland, and that you deliberately went to Back Bay, where he would follow you. And there you ambushed him, stabbed him in the back, and buried him. And the superficial wound on your chest was inflicted by you yourself in the event your deed was discovered. No, it wasn't like that at all. You want to see me? Will you please tell me what is happening? How's Roll? I'm going out of my mind with worry. No one will tell me anything. Mrs. Bolin, I won't deceive you. The prosecutor has a strong case. You said it was self-defense, but each of you has confessed to the actual stabbing. Inconsistencies like that make it hard for a jury to come to a decision that you are innocent. I must proceed on the information my client gives me. I was only trying to protect me. <laughs> Mrs. Bolin, Yolanda, <laughs> we'll convince them. Don't cry.
Mm -hmm. You're not going to court today? I can't take it, Joshua. I can't take it. They're taking everything and twist it up and make it look like if Roy killed the man for spite. It's looking bad for all. You feel he's going to lose the case? I don't know. Only God knew what really happened. They're going to hang roll? I don't know, child. The man was trying to kill him, you know. What? How you know that? He was hiding in the bush. And how you never said so before? We thought you would have beat you again, mommy. Put on all your clothes quick. gentlemen of the jury. If you have ever loved, you know love does not exist only between husband and wife. Love is so complicated, so complex. No one can explain it. If it is a crime for two people to fall in love, then my client is guilty. Excuse me, Your Your Honor, some fresh evidence has been brought to my attention, and I would like to reopen the case for the defense. I must object, Your Honor. This is most unusual. I need some time on myself, Roll, to sort things out to understand everything that happened. I'll be waiting. Tired of love so slowly It's creeping up on me It's raising each day by day My feelings of love for you The tide of love so suddenly Rising above me Caught up in a seamless way I'm out of my depth with you Freedom It seems like I was in control But you never can tell With love Always thought I could ride the waves and the swells They never could draw 